Hi everyone, welcome. If you're new here, my name is Aileen and here we like to talk about all things makeup, mostly luxury makeup, skincare, and fashion. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, I hope you consider subscribing and joining the family. So let's get to it. Today is so exciting. I know I always say I'm excited, but y'all, like we're unboxing Chanel. Like it's exciting. So if you're interested in seeing what I got, then keep on watching. But before we go, like we always say, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Let's get to it. So what had happened was I wanted to go swatch feel the new ultra lit tint formulation, the new concealer formulation. I wanted to check out a few of the new things, you know? And then originally she happened and the big one happened. But then like, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw like, I don't like to live with regrets. So luckily the Chanel boutique is across the street from my honey's job. So, you know, I texted my essay. I said, I need it ready by 11 o'clock. She had it ready by 10. And I said, um, on your lunch break, can you go get this Chanel bag for me? So, thank you, babe. <laughs> so here we are. Let's start with the day one purchase. So I'm going to just dig in here. My SA did give me some samples. And if you ever go to your Chanel boutique, please ask for samples if you're interested in something. They're very generous. They're fine. They, they're not going to look at you crazy because you asked for samples. Like, who doesn't want to try something on the luxury side before they decide to buy? It's an investment. So she gave me two, packed up, two packs of the Le Lift eye patches. So these are samples. So I'm excited to try those. Oh, that's the receipt. You don't want to see that. So I did pick up the new Ultra Lit Tint in the shade B40, tried and true B40. I did swatch it on my hand compared to the original formula when I got home. And I have thoughts and that video is coming next, but it's very interesting that I'm just saying. So we'll leave that there. So next, because I really, I'm not a fan of the new blushes. I explained to her I'm not a fan of the new blushes. She explained that this is a really good one. And I'm like, well, I don't want to buy it at the boutique because I, I can't return it. I got it. It is the Rouge Profond. I've been talking to Sean from Sean K Beauty. That's not, that's how I know how to say that. Rouge Profond. And that is the Powder Blush in 320. Let me show you. And she is right here. And I just thought, you know, it's a fall color. I have three other shades from Chanel, none of them in this range. So why not give it a try? I haven't swatched it or played with it yet. I don't want to. Because when I play with it, I want it to be on camera and give you my my honest thoughts. Because as of right now, I am not a big fan of the new blush formula. But that's just me. Next, I picked up the Le Corrector de Chanel. And this is the peach shade for like dark circle color correcting. The only one... The only one that I've been using is the Charlotte Tilbury. The one that comes in the compact color corrector. And I really enjoy that one. So I really want to compare it to this one and see what I think. And we'll go from there. So I picked up a concealer, but I'm typically B30. However, this is the new formulation. And although they do have the same shade range, for some reason, B30 just seemed a tinge too light. And I'll go into details on why that is in the video where I'm comparing the two. I don't think they're lighter. It's just 
we'll get into it. But this is the shade BD31 instead of B30. So that's the concealer I picked up. And I will have videos on all of this. You know, I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Ultra Latins. I'll do the correctors. I'll do the concealers. I'll do it all for you. Just bear with me. So next, we're gonna go into this bag because the black bags are not makeup. So this is the bag that I got today. She did present it very beautifully like she always does. Something about their packaging and unboxing just makes you feel special. So here we are. I haven't opened this one, you guys. It literally came this evening. Chanel Paris. We got a little mini sample perfume. I'm excited to try that. And I also picked up the green color corrector, which is also one of the new shades, the peach. The color corrector shades are new. Um, and the original line of shades is in the new formulation. So I also picked up the green and I picked up the Ombre Premier Lac. However, it's not one of the four that just came out for fall. I wanted to get a shade that I love, that really speaks to me, that I could use all day, every day, just because I was asked by a subscriber if I can give this a shot and see how it works on oily lids. So this is in the shade 26 Quartz Rose. I'm excited to give this a try. Anybody who's not new to my channel knows I love pinks, I love rose golds, specifically rose gold. So I wanna give that a try, see how I feel about it, see if it moves, see how it acts with oily lids. Oh. Next, I did ask her for a loose setting powder to send that I would like to send to one of my friends. And then she gave me a sample of the Sublimage La Creme Ultimate Regeneration Eye Cream. And she was stating that I should use this with the patches. And then she also included these two little brushes, which are like the ones that come with the Ultra Lit Tint Water Tint. She said a lot of clients like to apply their eye cream like that. And lastly, what I'm sure you all have been waiting for, this is not makeup. I mean, it's just, my daughter keeps asking me to see it and I'm like, no, no, they're, they're boxed up and they're pretty. That's the receipt, you don't wanna see that one either. Oh, well, I ripped the bow apart, but it was all pretty. I started opening. <laughs> it was all pretty with the... Uh, I mean... And they smell like Chanel. So I picked up a pair of sunglasses. So all of my glasses are very kind of glam. For the most part, all of my, okay, all of my black glasses are pretty wham glam, you know? So I wanted a pair of like everyday glasses. And I was going to say basic, but there's nothing basic about Chanel. But I will say this case, the leather case with the classic Chanel diamond. And these are them. I always get the same shape and I was like, you know what? I want a different shape, but I want them that I could wear them every day. 
So here are the glasses. I usually get them where they're round and they're a little pointier out here. Not a true cat eye, but these are them. I do love them. What we going on? She cute. So you can see the legs there. This is honestly the thickest, like the like from top to bottom, the widest I could get the glasses because, oh, I like these. Mm -hmm. But I just like that they're, they're very easy every day. They have the CCs here. They have like the tweed design on the legs. I love the shape. They're just not, you know, they're not my standard shape and I really like it. They really block out the light. I prefer when they're solid here versus the little, the two little rubber things that sit on your nose. Those always, I just don't like it. So I, I'm really excited for these. You know, it comes with your booklet and a cleaning cloth. And the case is magnetic. She did say, she said, be careful with the cleaning cloth because a lot of people won't even use it. A lot of people have like framed it because it's so beautiful. So we're about to open it. Oh, she is pretty. Here's the cloth for the glasses. The, the Chanel shoes, Chanel buttons, the Chanel earrings, the classic bag, the tweed jacket. Like these are just, this is just beautiful. And it has like the signature down there. I'm not sure if you can see it. This is so pretty. But I'm excited for the glasses. I'm excited for all of it. I will try to get these reviews out to you as soon as possible. I promise I'm trying, but I do work. I'm a mom. We're having weather issues here. Hopefully the lighting doesn't go out. I swear if you sneeze outside, though my lights will go out. But that's it, you guys. That is my Chanel unboxing. Let me know what you like to see first. I feel like I want to do the foundation and the concealer first, but if there's something else you want to see, or if you just like Aileen, just knock them out whenever you can, but ASAP, like Gina says, then let me know. But that's it, you guys. Until next time, thank you so much for coming. And don't forget, we're all perfectly imperfect. Bye. Oh,